Hi everyone and welcome. Previously we have uploaded two videos regarding Ignition and MQTT. The first video was how you can install Cyrus Link Solution MQTT modules in Ignition SCADA and the second video was how you can use MQTT distributor module in Ignition SCADA. Now in this video we are going to see how you can use MQTT engine module in Ignition SCADA. Okay, so this MQTT engine module act as an MQTT client for your Ignition SCADA. So it can subscribe to some topic via broker and it will receive that values as a tag and we can use that values in our Ignition designer. Okay, so MQTT engine module is installed in my Ignition SCADA and the license is trial and the state is running. Okay, now we have to configure something inside this MQTT engine module. To make it work and we will get our data via our edge device now we will go to mqt engine in the setting in the setting you must have to enable this enable the mqt engine you have to disable this two option i have already disabled this two option so you must have to disable this two option and then after you have to save the changes okay in the general tab now we have to go to our server tab to make a connection with our mqt broker okay now we are going to make a connection or create a new mqtt broker connection or broker setting here so you have to click this link okay now my mosquito broker is running in my local system so i'll name as a mosquito broker mosquito mqtt server and my url will be let me copy this and i'll modify it okay so copy here 1883 and instead of my domain.com it is my localhost okay now we don't have any username and password to connect with my mqtt broker so we will leave it as it is and then we will just create a new mqtt server setting okay so as you can see it is connected to my mqtt broker now which topic we want to subscribe we have to specify that topic in the namespace okay so we will go to namespace and then we are going to make a custom namespace here so we will navigate to custom here and then we will create a new custom namespace okay so it's it is my node mcu device so i am going to name as a node mcu namespace sorry name space and i want to subscribe to all the topic which my node mcu is going to publish so i have to put hash shine here and then after whatever the topic or tag i am getting that should be under my some folder so we have to specify that folder name here so it will be my node mcu tag folder okay so all the tag all the topic my node mcu is going to publish it will be stored inside this folder in our ignition designer now we will click on show advanced options and we will enable read and write okay now we will create a new custom namespace so our custom namespace is created here node mcu namespace we have subscribed to all the topic which is going to publish by node mcu and our all the topic tag everything will become under the node mcu tag folder and we have set our json payload as a false because my node mcu is not going to publish in a json format okay so it will directly publishing those um, tag so we will set it as a false now i'll go to my arduino software and i'll publish this dht11 code to my node mcu and my node mcu is going to publish the data to this topic so sensor is the main topic inside that we have a dht11 sensor connected to my node mcu and then after it will going to publish three tags temperature fahrenheit temperature celsius and humidity so let me upload this code to my node mcu device okay so i have opened the serial monitor to check the connection so 
my node mcu is connected to my mqtt broker and now it is publishing some data okay so we will minimize this and we will open our mqtt explorer to check that my node mcu is publishing data or not so we will connect with our mosquito mqtt broker which is uh, currently running on my local system so let me press on connect okay so as you can see we have a topic sensor inside that we have a topic dht11 and here we have a three tag temperature celsius temperature fahrenheit and humidity so my node mcu is publishing data on this three topic now i want the same data in my ignition scada i'll go to my ignition designer and then and there we will see how we can get this data into the ignition designer software so we will open our ignition designer now here we have to change our tag provider as a mqtt engine because my node mcu is going to publish some data to over the mqtt so that data will come under this mqtt engine so we have to read that data from here so as you can see node mcu tag folder so if you remember our custom namespace we have a root tag folder here so root tag folder it means our all the data which is published by node mcu will store under this folder okay so you can also see node mcu tag folder and if you expand it you can see sensor first topic sensor okay if i open it parallelly you can see first topic as a sensor and then we must have a dht11 topic and then after we have a tags okay now i want to use the value of this tag into my graphics so suppose let me create some test window here and if i use thermometer here so thermometer drag and drop okay and now temperature celsius and if i drag and drop this value to here you can see my value is good you can see the quality good and my value is currently steady so that is why i'm not having any changes in this value so this is how you can get your mqtt data value into the ignition scada using mqtt engine module so let us fast recap this video so what i have done in this video so first of all we have to go to modules and then we have to install our mqtt engine module and it should be running state and then after we have to go to setting of our mqtt engine module so let me click here then after we have to enable our mqtt engine we have to disable these two option and we have to save our general settings and then after we have to go to server we have to connect with our mqtt broker and the status should be connected okay otherwise it will not work and then after we have to navigate to namespace we have to create a custom namespace okay so node mcu namespace is just a name uh, it don't have any use inside the ignition but this is going to be used inside our ignition as you can see here node mcu tag folder okay so this is the main tag folder inside which our all tag is going to be stored now what is the subscription so subscription is all the topic okay and json payload is false so we have created our namespace here after that we have programmed our arduino and we have programmed our arduino for dht11 sensor arduino intel sense uh, node mcu device okay and it is publishing values now after that we have uh, navigate to this mqtt explorer to check that my node mcu is publishing data or not so it is publishing data fine so we don't have to worry about it and after that we will navigate to ignition designer launcher and we have to navigate to mqtt engine tech provider and here whatever namespace we have created here whatever the folder we have created here that should be available here and if you uh, if you work on it correctly then it will be available here so if you expand it and then all your tag will be available as per the structure okay so i hope you have uh, everything clear about mqtt engine module and how you can read some data from the mqtt engine to the ignition designer and you can use that data to make some graphics so if you have any question or any concern related to this you can ask me in the comment section or you can send a mail or you can uh, directly ping me on the telegram okay so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye 